US, EU, Japan, Canada condemn China's dangerous maneuvers. Welcome to my YouTube channel and I am iBoot if you want more videos subscribe my YouTube channel. Manila, Philippines, several countries have expressed support for the Philippines after the China Coast Guard, CCG, in its latest aggression, collided with Filipino vessels within the country's exclusive economic zone. The United States yesterday condemned the CCG's dangerous blocking maneuvers, which resulted in the collision with a Philippine vessel on a resupply mission in Ayung and Shoal. Chinese vessels yesterday blocked and collided with Philippine boats sending supplies to troops stationed at the BRP Sierra Madre in the West Philippine Sea, according to the National Task Force for the West Philippine Sea. A Chinese maritime militia vessel also bumped a patrol vessel of the Philippine Coast Guard, PCG, approximately 6.4 nautical miles northeast of Ayung and Shoal during the same resupply mission. U.S. Ambassador Mary Kay Carlson condemned China's latest disruption of a legal Philippine resupply mission to Ayung and Shoal, putting the lives of Filipino service members at risk. We stand with our hashtag friends partners allies in protecting the Philippine sovereignty and in support of a hashtag free and open Indo-Pacific, Carlson said in a post on X, formerly Twitter. The U.S. reaffirmed that an armed attack on Philippine public vessels, aircraft and armed forces, including those of its Coast Guard in the South China Sea, would invoke U.S. mutual defense commitments under Article 4 of the 1951 Mutual Defense Treaty. European Union Ambassador Luke Varin called the repetition and intensification of incidents dangerous and very disturbing. We join the Philippines in its call for the full observance of international law in the South China Sea Varin posted on ex-Canada condemned CCG's unlawful and dangerous conduct. The Embassy of Canada condemns the unlawful and dangerous conduct of the People's Republic of China's Coast Guard and Maritime Militia vessels on the 22nd of October 2023, which provoked two collisions with Philippine vessels engaged in routine operations inside the Philippine Exclusive Economic Zone, in the vicinity of Ayung and Shoal, the embassy said in a statement. The embassy noted that, China has no lawful claim to the West Philippine Sea. Japanese Ambassador Kazuhiko Koshikawa posted on X that Japan strongly opposes any unilateral attempts to change the status quo by force or coercion. We stand with, by PH's position, upholding maritime order based on UNCLOS and 2016 arbitral award he said. German Ambassador Andreas Fafernoschke said they are calling on all parties to act in accordance with UNCLOS rules and to respect the 2016 arbitral award referring to the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea which China is a signatory to. Dutch Ambassador Marielle Gerat said on Twitter that the collision is another, worrying, incident. Glad nobody got hurt. The Netherlands stands with the Philippines in its call for the full observance of international law in the South China Sea worrying any damage or injury is clearly on China's hands, when the CCG made contact with Filipino vessels. Thanks for watching like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel.